Hello, I'm Melody. I'm from Estonian National Youth uh, Journalism Association. I'm now here with Isaiah from T uh, Tanzania, and we're going to talk about education and more about E possibilities. So, hello, Isaiah. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, you're here in this World Forum for Democracy. How did you come about to here? What was the motivation behind coming here? And what is your personal, personal initiative to be here? Uh, the motivation actually to be here is um, the idea that as we as young people in Africa, in our country, thought of how could you use technology for good? How could we use technology to advance and solve our social uh, challenges and problems in, in, in our communities? And so the theme of this uh, year's conference is about, uh, forum is about um, uh, digital uh, education and democracy and equality. And I thought it's a good place for me to come to learn what other people from other countries in Europe are doing. What are they, how do they apply uh, technology or digital education to solve our uh, issues of inequalities, of democracy and, and education as a whole. So I came here to learn but also to share my experience because I, I am an entrepreneur and uh, so me and, and my team we've uh, established ourselves um, uh, to challenge the status quo in our country to solve uh, challenges that are facing because we have so many poor families which cannot afford to take their children to schools. And if you look at the SDGs goals that we are saying, we want to achieve uh, quality education, but our schools are not providing young people in Africa, in my country, Tanzania, with quality education. So we are building a solution. It's called Sum Up. It's a mobile application whereby it lists uh, list domestic and international fully funded opportunities, like scholarships, like um, conference opportunities and funds to young people in our country to you know go to come abroad in, in, in Europe in uh, America to study to meet other young people to exchange ideas on how we collectively as young people could solve our problems using technology and, and, and uh, that's why I'm here okay I will later come out to the sum up more in detail but uh, I will introduce you a little bit of Estonia as well because I know that it, you can relate to a little bit of Estonian education, educational uh, technology and uh, everything that we do. Yeah. Uh, we are an e-country, we call us that, we call us that selves because everything we do is technology advanced. We use, uh, it, even in education, we have so many possibilities to make the learning process, the methods more accessible, more uh, comfortable to those young people that right now are using iPads, m phones. They have those connections, they have those possibilities nowadays. So that, that then we're trying to use those devices to um, uh, let them do the learning process themselves. Lead it, try to uh, get uh, comfortable in it and use it very wisely. And my question is that um, we are in a develop, developing uh, e-country and an uh, European country. What, do you, what would you see behind uh, uh, cooperation between do those two countries? What would you see and what would be your um, uh, what would you put into that, to um, your participation in that process of maybe these two countries should do uh, kind of like a tight uh, cooperation? Yeah, I think, I think this is a very wonderful question because we are not an E country. We are more of uh, an agro, you know, agro-centered country because 80%, basically 80% of our people are farmers. They depend on agriculture. So technology, it's, it's, it's a new you know, thing that is coming to our countries and we are trying to embrace because the world is changing, times are changing. And I think my belief, I strongly believe that um, the only way that we could bring together Tanzania and the Australian people to work together in technology is to have a kind of agreement, our government, uh, to unite the young people of these two countries, because Estonia is an e-country, to have a collaborations in startups, yes. to empower startups with technologies, with ideas, with workshops, with trainings, with innovation hubs. Because if we could have, each uh, young people in the village could have access to technological training, 
then they would know how to solve their own problems yes. in their own context by using technology. But they wouldn't know how to apply technology because there's no one to give that knowledge to them. Now, I think the first level of participation has to be these two countries first to lay a foundation of knowledge transfer, transfer of knowledge. Uh, and it can maybe by way of um, workshop, you know, uh, uh, exchanging youth from Tanzania to Estonia, yes. uh, exchanging, uh, uh, you know, sharing expertise between uh, technological startups in Estonia and those in Tanzania, those in Africa particularly in general, so that they come, they learn, and also young people from Estonia, they come to see what they can do to solve challenges because we are all global citizens and we, you will not, not solve all your problems alone. Some of the solutions will come from our country to your country. And so some of the solutions uh, that we need to have, they must and they have to come to our countries, to us, and we have to be ready. And that's, I think, the, the, the first foundation that we have to agree. But second thing that I would really like to uh, advocate uh, right now is um, uh, to adapt the education system that Estonia is having. Uh, I believe that uh, you, you have a, a very uh, different kind of education compared to what we have in our country. And I would, would love to see my government and African governments, you know, uh, sort of be willing to come and learn. Why are you an e-country? What made you accept technology to that level? Because politically, there is this sense of leaders not, they're not willing to accept technology yes. in, in the leadership, yes. in the government. Yes. They want the old way, but the old way is not effective, is not inclusive, is not solving what we have. Yes. That was that is a really nice thought, actually, like intercultural changing, yes. because I think we need this in times of uh, uh, difficulty and then times of uh, maybe uncertainty that people have, European, I think, African people as well. Like many people have this kind of like uncertainty where they stand and what is their opinion and what is the future holding. I think the other point I held today that we should not wait, we should not wait for uh, educational fund funds until there's an educational crisis. And I would say also we should not wait to uh, exchange our educational expertise until there's a crisis in education in, in all over the world. I think we should start now you know, sharing these information and advancing our countries. Okay, so for, for a final thought, um, what do you think that SOMAPS, your, uh, your idea, your initiative in your country, uh, would it be how could it help other countries? Like, just just like a small thought about maybe in Europe, in Europe as well. What could it do in Europe? I think what some app could do in Europe, what some app could do in America, what some app could do in Africa, is we have people and in institutions in Europe offering uh, full funded scholarships. Uh, conference uh, opportunities for young people to go and exchange ideas. And these are coming out of Europe, coming from America to African youth. And this is Europe giving Africa opportunity to learn, giving Africa a chance to exchange knowledge. And Africa has the same capacity to offer opportunities that people, young people from Europe could come to Africa on the mutual uh, understanding that they're coming to learn. They're coming to observe. They're coming to see how, as uh, developed countries, could create solutions for the world, including everyone. Because you cannot, so you cannot create solutions while you're in Estonia. But you could come to Kenya, you could go to Nigeria, you could come to Tanzania and see how people are living and see the culture, the context of, of the people, then you could, solve, you could create a solution that will cater the global needs because you know the experience and the needs that people have. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very yes. much. It was nice having yeah. you. <laughs>